After an improved performance here at Cardiff City Stadium on Tuesday evening, we're looking ahead to facing Huddersfield Town on Saturday in this week's In the City. And you can hear from former Terrier Lee Peltier as well as new head coach Paul Trollope and take a look into the facts and figures behind our opponent's season to date. But first, we're over to man of the moment, Matty Kennedy, to talk about his debut here as a Bluebird. I never expected to start. I wasn't the starting the shape the, the day before and that. And then the gaffers obviously mentioned me in the team just before the kickoff, like so. I didn't think he wanted to make me nervous, like. But um, when I went to pitch, I just done what I could for the team and I enjoyed every minute of it, like. Matty went on to tell us whether the prospect of regular first team football is what drove him to leave Everton and join Cardiff City. On two minds whether well, to either leave Everton or to come here, but um, I think I've picked the right. I wanted to play first team football at a young age, like I've only turned 20, so I just need to keep pushing on and trying to keep myself in the team. Huddersfield now on Saturday is going to be another tough game. Are you looking forward to that win? Um, yeah, I'm not looking for the, forward to the journey there, four hours or something, but I'm looking forward to the game, yeah. It's all part of it, but of course it starts off another tight Saturday, Tuesday yeah. schedule. How do you think you're going to cope with it this week? Um, I think all, all the, all, a lot of the games are, I think it's like five games in 15 days, like so I think if we get a few points on the board, we can, we can climb the table fast. Speaking at the opening of the new Lidl store in Leckwith this week, what did Pelt make of Matty's debut? Fantastic. Um, before, and uh, I think the gaffer didn't say to him he was playing until uh, we got to the game in the night, so we didn't have uh, much time to think about it. I thought he was outstanding throughout uh, the full 90 minutes. He gave uh, their left-back a tot of time all game, and he's a very experienced left-back in this league and in the Premier League, so hopefully he can build on that and there'll be much more to come. And as we're looking to face his former club on Saturday, he touched upon his expectations of the game. It's going to be a tough, tough, tricky game like any game this league. We have the ability in, in the, the squad to, to go to anywhere in this uh, division and take the three points. Bertie, where did you in the community? Let's see what happened in the community this week. Lee Peltier and Stuart O'Keefe went along to the official opening of the new little store in Lech with Retail Park on Thursday afternoon. With soccer schools well and underway, Joe Mason and KG came down to the Cardiff City Stadium on Tuesday to congratulate and award the participants from the girls group with certificates and prizes for their hard work and effort. The club heats of the Premier League Enterprise Challenge took place at the Cardiff City Stadium last week where each team finalised their ideas and pitched them to the Premier League Enterprise panel. The winner will be announced at one of our forthcoming home games. A big well done to everyone who took part in our kicks tournament on Tuesday afternoon and a big congratulations also to our winners, Abadir, who won tickets to Tuesday's night's game against Blackburn. Our women's side progressed into the semi-finals of the FAW Women's Cup on Sunday afternoon after beating Danby Town 5-0. They'll now play Wrexham in the next round on Sunday the 22nd of March. A change of location for our development squad this week as they took on Charlton at the Vale. They lost out on three points as the Addicts took home the win but they hope to get the win at home on Monday night as they take on Millwall at the Cardiff City Stadium, 7pm kickoff. And our under-18s missed out on Saturday as they lost to our South Wales rival Swansea at Cardiff International Sports Stadium. Bloxham and Harvey's side next take on Charlton away on Saturday. After only being appointed head coach last Saturday, he hadn't had that much contact time with the players come Tuesday evening's game. But their performance on the evening suggests that maybe he's had an impact already. So we spoke to Paul Trollope about his first game with the Bluebirds. A positive performance the other night, obviously disappointed to concede the, the equaliser, but uh, I thought there was a, a real good spirit about the, the, the side. I thought they pressed at a good tempo and uh, there was some some, uh, some some play and some passing and movement that, uh, that that we were pleased with. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of good things to, to take. Um, but obviously, we're aware we need to you know chalk up some wins in the in the next few weeks to, to get us into that top half of the table. We've seen you on the touchdown. We get, get a gist of what you're doing on a match day. But just tell us day to day what, what your role is, how you how you work with the group. Well, as head coach, I mean, we've only had sort of two or three sessions at the moment, but. Uh, you know, certainly a, a major input on the on the, on the training pitch. Uh, working closely with the players, try and improve units and uh, uh, and players individually, and, and help with some of the young players as well. Work closely with the existing staff, 
Obviously, there's um, some some good staff here already, and hopefully, I can I can work with them and, and complement them, and hopefully, getting the you know uh, mixing in the staff well and getting the blend right so that the, the we, we pick up wins because that's that's the main thing. You know, it's a long trip to Huddersfield to look forward to. No, that's right. Yeah, there's some uh, obviously a couple of long 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 journeys coming up, but I think uh, games that certainly. Uh, you know the spirit that, that was shown on Tuesday and in the previous game. So I think there's been a really, you can see there's a really good spirit within the group of players. If we can take that forward into the next few games, you, you hope that you get the, you know, the, the results that, uh, that that spirit deserves. And the players show their quality, really believe in themselves, and and try and like I said before, try and get on a uh, on a bit of a roll. So the last third of the season really turns out to be a, a progressive one. It's been a season of transition for Terrier supporters this term, with former boss Mark Robbins the first managerial casualty of 2014-15 after just a single game in charge. Former England international Chris Powell was appointed in early September and has helped steady the ship, with Huddersfield currently sitting mid-table, going into the latter stages of the campaign. The town have picked up 22 of their 38 points in home matches this season, with 21 goals both scored and conceded across 15 home games. They head into this weekend's match in 14th position, one point and one place ahead of Russell Slade's Bluebirds, but they have an inferior goal difference to their opponents. The last time the two sides met at Cardiff City Stadium back in August, it was the Bluebirds' top scorer Ken Wynne jones who made the difference. The striker netted a goal in each half for the home side, adding to a special strike from Cardiff City stalwart Peter Whittingham. It secured a 3-1 victory. Mark Hudson led out the Bluebirds on that day, and he's likely to skip a Huddersfield at the John Smith Stadium this weekend. Hudson has made 27 appearances for his new side since leaving the Welsh capital city on transfer deadline day back in August. Current City fullback Lee Peltier is another set to face his former side, the defender having moved to Cardiff City Stadium from the Terriers last month. Chris Powell strengthened his team in the January window with the signing of Ishmael Miller from Blackpool and the temporary loan of David Edgar from Birmingham City. Both Miller and Edgar featured as the Terriers held Championship High Flyers AFC Bournemouth last time out, no mean feat, while record signing Narky Wells could be reintroduced into the starting eleven for the visit of Cardiff. Wells was sent off for a second bookable offence against Millwall on February the 7th, but has managed to net 11 times in all competitions for the Terriers this term. The gaffer had a taste of what it's like to be the opposition recently as he got involved in a table tennis tournament with the team up at the Vale training ground. Table tennis should have been the safe bet option that no one could get injured. But wait, maybe not when Alex Ravel's around, who nearly took Gunner out with his bat. And here it is again in slow-mo just in case you missed it. The gaffer's competitive side coming out, maybe scaring his doubles partner Gunner a little bit. on the back table after Turner takes a tumble and does a bit of damage in doing so. Hardly surprising given his stature really. And despite the gaffer gunner duo having established a strong rotation rhythm here, a Morrison ball down the middle ended a long rally, much to the delight of Tom and Sean. The Morrison and the Amy duo on the next table struggling to keep their eyes on the ball. Oh, 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 
And on to the final game of the day, Tom and Sean looking for another winner against Nooney and Turner.